welcome to the video on part three of my moving bed just another couple of adjustments again the lids still working really well loads better than the first or we'll mark one so I'm going to try and update and put a new air system in the bottom I'm going to fix this one to the stainless steel it comes with some uh, plastic brackets weighted I'm going to take those off or take the weights off I've fitted a drain away now so I can just drop this vortex at any chosen time I'm going to put a handle on the stainless steel mesh as well so it's easy to get in and get out because I'm finding it fits that tightly and perfectly I'm struggling to get it out so I'm going to fix a plastic handle to it so first thing we need to get rid of this K1 micro. So speed it up a little bit, get rid of K1. Then I'm going to drop the vortex, get rid of all the water. So that's what I'm left with. I got a disc and I put an extra stone in there, and it's just it's just untidy and unsightly and not doing what I need it to do. Or it's messy. I just just don't like it so I'm gonna fix something it's gonna be permanent it's gonna be a lot better I can get a handle on it pull it out pull it back in again so it's gonna be loads better the water's nearly all drained off now just shut the valve drop me on top of the tripod while I get it out so I'm grabbing the air stones that are in there just to to pull it out basically so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a handle on it so it's gonna be loads better with a handle on it but yeah it fits really snugly which I like because it's not gonna it's not gonna move but it's time to update it because it's just it's just too too messy so I'm gonna cut into a montage now of me putting a handle on and fitting this new airline that I brought so there's the handle. So this is the air pipe that I brought. See that on the right hand side there, that weight. So I'm taking taking the top clips off. I'm going to fix the three clips to the stainless steel, screw it from underneath. So I can just clip this thing off and clip it on. So I'm just screwing that one in there. just finishing it off with the grinder taking the back of the stainless steel screw off so I'll do that with all three of them just marking it so I get it ex so exactly right fitting the second one now I'll line it up It's tough this stainless steel really tough to work with finishing off again with the grinder so that's the second one in now I'm just gonna weigh up where the third one needs to be that blue line shows where the bubbles come out so I've mounted it with the bubbles facing up that handle's gonna work really well though I'm gonna help me out no end just getting it in getting it out so cleaning wise maintenance wise again get it out clean it with the handle give it a good brush job done so let's uh, get it in just joining the airline now perfect got the handle look look how that helps so that looks a lot better than it did before, for sure, 100% better. So all these adjustments will help, you don't know until you start running things. So I'm going to start getting some water in, turn the pump back on, let this vortex fill back up again. But it does look loads neater. 
than what was down there before a little air stone and another little air stone so now it's just manageable I'm going to speed things up again we're filling up with water now I'm going to put all the K1 micro back in careful not to overflow it so if you like this video please like it subscribe please leave comments if you've got any questions in the comments section like I say it's part three so there's part two and the first part for this video I'll put it in the section below in the comments section and thanks for watching